What's up guys, Steven here, and I'm back with another unboxing video. If you've been following my Instagram feed, I had to retire an old friend. Uh, it was a Starbucks burr grinder that has lasted me for almost 10 years. The knob broke off and it started to have some issues with grind quality. Plus, when I ground coffee, all the stuff was static and it just flew all over the place. But I was ready to let it go. I was just waiting for it to die in some way. This is the new Bodum Bistro grinder. The product itself has been around for quite some time, but it's new to me. And this particular grinder has some really key features that are much better than the original Starbucks grinder that I had, which I bought for like 50 bucks on a Boxing Day sale. That's the uh, Canadian version of Black Friday. This particular one is double the price at around 100 bucks but it has some unique features that the other one didn't have. For example, as a burr grinder, it uses stainless steel um, burr gears. The other thing that this one has is a 160 watt motor. Finally, one of the features that I most like, and this is one of the key features of this product, is the fact that it uses a, uh, a special glass container. When they develop this weird static thing from being ground, it doesn't get all over the place. The original one that I had, the Starbucks one, actually had a plastic one, and when I pulled it out, it just flew all over the place. This is built to uh, basically alleviate that that kind of pain. Apparently very, very quiet. So uh, I'm definitely looking forward to quieter mornings when I grind my coffee. So let's open it up and see what's inside. So this is actually exactly the way that it came from Amazon. Typically you would see a huge box with just a little bit of uh, paper or, or foam or plastic wrap inside and that's how you would get it. I find that a little bit strange because there is glass inside with the container. It may not be that big of a deal depending on how they uh, package it, which we're gonna find out right here. And sure enough, it does seem very well packaged directly from Bodum. This particular uh, grinder comes in a, a range of different colors but the color that I got is the one that's on the front of the box which is the red. Inside the box you get a uh, instruction, no this is the catalog and this is the instruction manual and it's very thick. I'm kind of scared. So there's lots of pieces to it. Um, oh, just, just two main ones. So this is the uh, part where you put all your beans into. There's a lid that keeps everything nice and fresh. And the main unit right here is of course red with a standard plug right here, two prong. And here is the where the magic happens. This is the stainless steel gear burr grinder right here. There should be no sharpening that's required throughout its lifetime, which is uh, kind of nice. It's uh, basically no or low maintenance. Same as my, my Starbucks one. Uh, so these things do take a very long time to wear down and eventually when they go, they go. Uh, there's no real way to fix them at all. I'm, I'm hoping that this lasts at least 10 years as well too. So let's uh, put the uh, top on. So it just kind of locks into place here, like so. And this also, this is kind of like the dial. It gives you the, the levels of coarseness of the grind right here. As you uh, move this, it'll give you uh, coarser and coarser grinds, I believe, by loosening up the uh, burr gear. I'm not an expert in this thing. I just know that when you turn it one way, the, the, the beans get a little bit uh, ground up a little bit more coarse. Basically, it goes from a very um, salt-like consistency, like a, a sea salt, all the way to a very fine uh, Turkish coffee or espresso type grind. And you can do all of that with this particular grinder. Uh, on the top here, you'll see a dial. You set it to whatever you want the, the seconds are, and it'll grind for those many seconds. Once you pick the grind setting over here, you just hit the button, and then it's good to go. But first, you need to turn it on. So that's new for me. This actually isn't on all the time. So if you want to use it, you have to turn it on first, set the dial, and then hit the button right there to start the grind process after you've selected the grind coarseness. So that's kind of it fully assembled right here. And one of the things that keeps all the coffee beans from flying out is this lid right here, which is also made of a kind of a plastic slash silicone mix right here. And all of this, um, all of the grinds go into here. This is uh, apparently anti-static. If you're used to a coffee machine spitting all the, the, the beans and grinds all over the place when you're, uh, when you're grinding, this shouldn't do it. And I'm definitely going to give this a test in the morning. And that just goes right under here. Uh, oh, um, the rubber rise 
thing is a nice touch here. I'm sure that this is definitely not shatterproof. So if there is something here that keeps me from shattering it in the morning where, where I'm most likely to not pay attention, that's actually a good thing. And that goes right back underneath. Like so, there's a nice tight fit here. I could feel it when I was pushing it in here. So when you're pulling it out, less likely of a chance for it to actually have um, the beans kind of spill out of it. And it's anti-static. It, it should really help control the bean spray all over the place uh, after you do your grind. The Bodum Bistro grinder. It's much smaller than my original Starbucks one and I'm looking forward to having yet another 10 years of use out of it maybe. Hopefully in 10 years when I'm complaining about how it broke, well hopefully it's this one and not two or three in between because uh, that Starbucks one even though it was kind of crappy it actually wasn't that bad for longevity. It really did last a very long time for an appliance. Anyway, that's me. I'm Steven signing off. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you like the stuff that I do here on occasion. And uh, we'll see you again in the next video.